वेलकम टू द चैप्टर अवर ईयर दिस स्लाइड प्रेजेंट्स द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to know about the universe the sun and the earth illustrate how earth rotates on its own axis classify the layers of the earth describe the internal structure of the earth identify the movements of the earth's crust describe latitudes and longitudes explain about the longitudes and the question of time introduction before entering into the chapter follow the instructions shown on the screen click each tab to know more in the early classes we have studied about different people living in different kinds of lands the use of forests soils water and minerals on the earth do you know how the planet earth evolved the internal structure of the earth what are latitudes and longitudes Let us know about the evolution of our planet Earth and how it is interconnected. Let us start our learning with the introduction to our planet Earth. Earth is believed to be in existence from 450 million years. Human beings arrived on Earth about 1 lakh years ago. In our solar system Earth is the third planet and the distance between the earth and the sun is about 150 million kilometers. Our planet is a rocky planet with its surface covered with mountains, valleys, plains, canyons, etc. The earth's atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen N2, 21% oxygen O2. and 1% of other gases we the human beings have been exploiting our planet with the improper use of natural resources and through the destruction of forests rivers hills animals etc the result of our carelessness led to the evolution of many environmental crises like global warming pollution of air soils and water Let us now know some important facts about our universe the sun and the earth in the past for almost thousands of years human beings were trying to understand objects like the stars the sun the moon and the planets and how they are related to us at that time people were under wrong conception that earth is stationary and all other objects revolve around it but later scientists declared it as a wrong conception and came up with a new understanding that the earth is not in the center of everything and said it moves around the sun which rotates on itself they even pointed out that stars are actually part of large groups called galaxies in the universe there exist millions of galaxies according to them universe itself started some 13.7 billion years ago with a theory called big bang the universe evolved as a group of galaxies with each galaxy being formed by many stars planets etc however the approximate time taken for these changes is over millions of years nowadays human beings are investigating and trying to understand the actual phenomena of the universe 
many spaceships have been sent to the sky by human beings in order to find the phenomena. Thus, in brief, the sun and the earth are a part of universe which moves and changes constantly. Now, let us know how earth acts as a planetary body. Similar to all the other planets of our solar system, the earth rotates on its own axis which is nearly circular and goes around the sun in a fixed path called an orbit. Let us identify the correct image of Earth's orbit among the images shown on the screen. A circular path, an elongated oval path, a scaled oval path. The Earth's orbit is a scaled oval path as the Sun is at the center and 1.4 cm on one side and 1.5 cm on the other side. The farthest point of the Earth from the Sun is 152 million kilometers and the closest is 147 million kilometers. The speed at which the Earth completes its one revolution that is traveling around the Sun is 1,7200 kilometers per hour, that is 365 one fourth days. The word Earth is derived from Greek word Yurte, which refers to ground, soil, dry land. Note, in India, the word at has multiple Sanskrit alternatives like Bhumi, Prudvi, Dharani, Avani, etc. Now, let us learn about the evolution of our planet Earth. Scientists observed that the formation of Earth is a result of various intermediate phases. In the initial stages, Earth was a ball of swirling dust and cloud which passed through a molten stage and then was bombarded by massive rocks and other materials from the space constantly. At molten stage, the earth was very hot. The heavier particles which goes to the bottom formed part of molten core and lighter particles which comes to the top formed the layer of crust covering the molten interior. For example, boiled soup. After the soup is boiled, heavier particles tend to go to the bottom and lighter particles cool at the top. As the Earth's interior gets cooled and contracted, the outer crust is wrinkled, forming ridges or mountains and basins. For almost many years, Earth was lifeless, 
but slowly oceans were formed and then there evolved plants, animals, human beings over millions of years. Now, let us look at the internal structure of the earth. It took several hundred years to understand the interior of the earth. The internal structure of the earth consists of three layers namely crust, mantle, core. The core is divided into two sub layers that is outer core, inner core. Note, one percent of the volume of the earth exists as crust, 16 percent as mantle and 83 percent as core. Crust, mantle, core. Click each tab to know more. Crust. The outer part of the earth is called crust which goes to a depth of 30 to 100 kilometers and consists of various kinds of rocks. The crust forms 1% of the volume of the earth. Mantle. The thickness of the mantle is 100 to 2900 kilometers. The upper part of the mantle is a pliable layer over which the crust floats, which consists mainly of chemicals called silicates. Core The thickness of the core is 2900 to 6376 kilometers. It is composed of dense and heavy substances like iron and nickel. The core layer is divided into sub layers, namely outer core, inner core. Outer core. The thickness of the outer core is 2900 to 5100 kilometers and it is composed of liquid metallic material like iron and nickel. Inner core. The thickness of the inner core is 5100 to 6376 kilometers and is composed of iron compounds and heavy substances like gold. Now, let us study about the movements of the Earth's crust. At present, the Earth is static, but during the formation of Earth, it was not fixed and had moved, collided, merged, then been torn apart again. Alfred Wagener, a German meteorologist and geophysicist in the early 20th century, postulated the theory of continental drift which explains the present system of continents and ocean basins. According to Alfred Wiesner, a huge supercontinent called Pangaea existed 225 million years ago and then it broke into several parts and they later formed continents. He suggested that these continents moved away from each other while some continents collided with each other. He said that the supercontinent of Pangaea broke into two forms namely Laurasia, presently North America, all of Eurasia, North Indian subcontinent. Gondwana land, present South America, Africa, India, Australia, Antarctica. These two blocks were separated by a long shallow inland sea called the Tethys Sea. Till now, we have seen the process of formation of Earth. Now, let us look at the Earth's grid system. A network of latitudes and longitudes drawn on a globe is called grid. It is used to locate places and know about them on a map or on the surface of the Earth. With the help of grids, 
one can find out the directions of places, climate of places, time, etc. Latitudes Longitudes Click each tab to know more. Latitudes Latitudes is derived from the Latin word latitudo, which refers to width. These imaginary lines are drawn horizontally on the surface of the earth and known as parallels since they are parallel to each other. Equator is the horizontal circle around the earth that is exactly at the center and at equal distance from the north and south poles. The equator is called the zero degrees latitude and splits the earth into two equal halves northern and southern hemispheres. The latitudes are expressed in degrees, minutes and seconds just as the representation of angles in geometry. Latitudes range from 0 degrees equator to 90 degrees north that is north pole and 90 degrees south that is south pole. There are no latitudes less than 0 degrees nor greater than 90 degrees. Each and every latitude is designated with the direction of north N or south S. There is no north and south designation for the equator. Hemisphere means half a sphere. It is divided into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. The half portion of the earth that is between the equator and North Pole is called Northern Hemisphere. The half portion of the Earth that is between the equator and South Pole is called Southern Hemisphere. There are 180 latitudes excluding the equator. The main latitudes are Tropic of Cancer, 23.5 degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn, 23.5 degrees south. Arctic Circle, 66.5 degrees north. Antarctic Circle, 66.5 degrees south. Longitudes Longitude is derived from the Latin word longitudo means length which indicates length or height of the map. Longitudes are semicircles that are connected from pole to pole. The vertical longitude lines are also known as meridians. A longitude running from pole to pole which passes through the astronomical observatory at Greenwich, England is called as prime meridian or Greenwich meridian or zero degrees meridian. Many other countries try to fix the longitude which passes through their place as the zero degrees longitude. But England zeroed on Greenwich Meridian and others also agreed with them. There are totally 360 main longitudes which are divided into two groups that is zero degrees to 180 degrees from east side or east longitudes whereas 0 degrees to 180 degrees longitudes from west side or west longitudes. Similar to latitude, each and every longitude is represented in minutes and seconds. The longitude 180 degrees, which is directly opposite to 0 degrees longitude, is called the anti-meridian. Differences between latitudes and longitudes Let us study about longitudes and the question of time. Longitudes and the question of time. The time taken for the sun to move one degree of longitude is four minutes. This represents that each degree of longitude has different time period. For example, when the sun is at 10 degrees east longitude, the local time is 12 noon 
whereas it is 11:56 a.m. at 9 degrees east and 12:04 p.m. at 11 degrees east thus the time zone is divided into 24 standard time zones from east to west starting from greenwich meridian with width of each zone approximately 15 degrees of longitude this is because the difference between two consecutive time zones is one hour that is 15 degrees of longitude multiplied by four minutes per longitude equal to 60 minutes the problem with these time zones is that for some countries there exist more than one time zone with less than one hour time division for instance take India which would have two half hour time zones because the time between western and eastern parts of India differ from half an hour this kind of constraints pose many complications to us thus some countries choose the time according to the meridians that pass through their territory called as standard time standard time it is the synchronization of clocks in different geographical locations within a time zone to a common time standard based on the meridian at the center of the time zone example Indian standard time for India some facts regarding latitude and longitude are listed below latitudes and longitudes are imaginary lines to avoid confusion in time the central longitude 82 degrees 30 minutes east is considered as the standard meridian for India and is the reference for IST Indian Standard Time which is five and a half hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time ZMT as the earth rotates on its axis there will be a time difference while traveling from west to east and east to west while traveling from west to east a person gain four minutes of time as he or she crosses every longitude called EZA east gain added and while traveling from east to west he or she losses four minutes as he or she crosses every longitude called WLS west lost subtract follow up work find out the standard meridian of given countries Nepal Pakistan Bangladesh England Malaysia Japan using your atlas find out how many standard time zones are there for all the countries in the southeast find out the latitude and longitudes that pass through the following places Kanyakumari Imphal Jaisalmer Pune Patna you have successfully completed the chapter our earth 